and expect me to stop rogue governing practices by four to five board members driven by temptation and self-interest. I will lead to make the members part of the process. You can expect me to, you, as a board member, I will, I, will be, I will determine to lead the culture change for respectful interaction among all of us. You can expect me to use my experience as an entertainment marketing professional to raise the marquee value of MLCC as a resort destination, which includes all of the amenities at Mission Lakes, and to help market the value of our homes in that process. My club involvement has been uh, being a member of, of the uh, Architectural Control Committee, House Committee, Communications Committee, an alternate in the Finance Committee, member of the, uh, of the infamous Ad Hoc Questionnaire Survey Committee. Um, I'm personally responsible for the launch of the new digital MLCC E-News e -news letter. Leading the MLCC website transformation is what I'm hoping I can do next. And continually implementing these changes that benefits <coughs> the entire membership here at MLCC. Not just the Insiders Club here at MLCC. Uh, Come on. To, to repeal, here are my goals, to repeal the master plan. Ask for a straight up or down vote. That's what I'd like to see to have every board members, uh, board of directors meeting videotaped and posted on our website. We have many part-timers and snowbirds, and it's only fair to all of you who are part-timers and snowbirds to, to remain directly involved with what's going on in this community. That would be a really good way of presenting what we do here at the board of directors meeting. Uh, I would listen to someone like Ken Waring, who while he was controller here, challenged this board to not spend the dollars on the course, but to focus on modernizing the clubhouse. I would also market our inn that is currently not doing very well financially, as we all know. I would reinstate checks and balances and respect of all members in good standing here at MLCC. So when elected, I will never allow one man to control over not quite two million dollars as a as one person wearing two hats as an architect and a project manager uh, so we how how will that money be flowing if that were to continue to happen uh, I would uh, what some of you don't know, I actually reached out to uh, a couple of committee members here, uh, not here, but in the state of California, about our sewer problem. And I actually have an interview with one of the, one of the, uh, the committee members, and she, on camera, so if anybody ever needs to see it, I can absolutely show it to you. She says, on camera, where is your community? We have funds. We, we don't know about your community. If you guys approach us, we may be able to help you with grant money. And I have this document. I tried telling that to the board a while ago, but it wasn't part of the agenda, so it, 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 went, uh, it went unnoticed. Um, I would, one of my priorities would be to make a case for modernizing the clubhouse, which is sorely, sorely needed, very sorely needed. <clears throat> I, would, I actually stopped the rubber stamping by this board that allowed a $219,000, sorry, $15,000 loss this year. $165,000 loss last year, the hiring of a general manager who, who under her watch lost $400,000 in the restaurant. That's part of who is currently uh, in power. This is the same group, and I'm including these other gentlemen because I know where they stand, but this is the same group that is opposing Greg Robarge, Dan Spence, and myself. These people have no special interests. They just want the betterment for the club. The three of us, the three of us, want to be fiscally responsible and take control over the food and beverage and other departments to stem the losses we have been forced to accept. To rid, uh, to get rid of dues increases mandated by the 1.6 million dollar golf course beautification master plan flawed with potential County of Riverside liability assessment <laughs> as current board member Dan Spence has repeatedly shared with our members. 
I will work relentlessly to affect change and promote unity rather than growing skepticism we're accustomed to. To stop the regime's tactics that create unyielding illegal practices which continue to drive member animosity. The well is deep. The well is deep with terrific people here at Mission Lakes. And, and what we have today is a very disenfranchised community driven by dishonesty, temptation, and disrespect. For those of you, I'm, for those of you I'm, that I'm speaking about, this community will forgive you for trespassing over the past, over us the past five or six years. Oh. Oh. Yes. I thank you all for listening. No, I just said you can ask more questions. Oh, Andrew. Yes, ma'am. Huh. What do you think would make the club better? We can market this club a heck of a lot better than it's ever been marketed. Oh, oh yeah. <coughs> yes, we can. We got because, a golf course okay. off the <laughs> Pardon me? Nope, we're not debating. I'm so, yes, I would I would really focus on how to market this club. The the inn has is the inn has been budgeted I think something like sixty something thousand dollars annually. And the last number I saw was they were at four thousand dollars. No, it's or five thousand no, dollars. No, more than that. Okay. Number okay. two. What time frame should be allowed for the master plan completion? <laughs> if you had a time frame. Uh, I would. I would first of all. This master plan, I wouldn't have a time a time line a time plan for because it's not properly been been vetted. It's not properly been put together. I would, I, I love this golf course. I love this community, and and there are changes that are needed in this uh, in this community and at this golf course, but but we don't we don't need to put uh, piecemeal the changes that have been that have been tabled by the uh, by some of the board members, so they could circumvent member votes for some of the monies that are being spent. Okay. Last question. What are your ideas for a more successful food and beverage, limiting losses, and still providing an enjoyable experience? Thank you for asking that question. You're welcome. I have been in, I have been um, researching in the valley. Um, I've been talking to different clubs and, and food and beverage ma managers, and you know if it ain't fixed, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And None of these, the majority, I shouldn't say none, the majority of the, of the food and beverage and general managers that I've spoken to, I think I've contacted 19, there are 163 country clubs in the valley, I believe I may be off on my number. So I'm up to about 19 or 20. And the majority of the members have said the following. We, we close the, the rest, our, our main dining room in the summer because it is, it is fiscally irresponsible to keep it open. And I can name just three top of mind. Tus Toscano, their, their membership dues are $2,500 a month roughly, okay? Um, that gentleman said he, it, it just doesn't work. And the reason why I'm glad you asked is because I've asked three times if we can have a, a uh, reconciliation of a timeline, and I'm thinking June 15th through October 15th. Let's have the controller put line items together for that timeline and let's see how much money is being spent in our main dining room during the summer. And I was told by Mike Doyle, let me just, let me just phrase this correctly. Our group comes up here and eats at the clubhouse during the summer. We're not really interested about anybody else. So, so all I'm saying, hopefully he's in the room. Hopefully he's in the room. Okay, but um, I'm not saying I'm not saying to close down the 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 the, the uh, restaurant in the summer. All I asked was let's see what the bottom line is as to what money is being spent. You know, if we save one hundred thirty thousand dollars a year, that's a ten dollar dues increase that we don't have to worry about every every year. $130,000 of savings every year is a $10 dues increase every year. That's very doable. We can make that happen probably in, in the next fiscal year before the year is even over, if, if the right choices are made. Okay. I want to interject okay, one thing since you're quoting me, Andrew. That's a lie. 
<laughs> okay, fine. Okay, okay, wait, no, wait. One other thing is I'm telling all of you not to make comments and I apologize because I did and I apologize to all of you. So <laughs> Okay, um, as a board secretary, I'm also the sergeant at arms and responsible for order and rule of order. So now well, we're going to have these questions asked from the audience. We're going to allow the questions to be asked and this candidate to answer. And you, all of us in the room, will remain respectful while that dialogue goes on. Okay? Ask him nicely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Oh. Andrew, yes. uh, I agree with some of the stuff you say. Thank you. But you do write on the social media website a lot, and uh, I'd like to hear you comment on one of your headings that says Ballot County, rigged or not, and then another one where you say these guys represent a fundamental threat to democracy. Can you explain that stuff? Yeah, I can. Like, uh, let me just give you the let me give you answer it backwards. Um, have you been 1099, 1099 for your services as a volunteer? Getting, and I'm just asking a question. I'm not. That's that's I'm great. Not that is part of the, demo, the, the <laughs> democratic <laughs> process. But you are. Answer the question. That's part of the democratic process that I was referring to. I'm not a candidate. Okay, I, but I'm answering the question, Tom. I'm answering the question. No. Okay. All right. Are you not getting paid as a volunteer member to the architectural committee? Are you answering Andrew, the question? Listen, we have a question. And I can answer the question. Answer, you're not going to oh. ask, you're not going to answer the question with another question. Answer the question that's asked, and we'll move on to the next question. Okay, I will answer the question. All right? Okay. Um, Thank you. Uh, the reason why I, said, I, I posted that is because there were improprieties during the recall. Oh, bullshit. And bullshit. That's all. Next question. Okay. Andrew, as a fellow House Committee member, are you going to do better on the board in your attendance than you were at the House Committee? Because even last month, when you got here at 1.30 and we changed our meeting times to 2.30, four or five months ago, you didn't know about this. Are you going to arrive on time and leave when it ends? You know what? That's a really good point. And yes, I I will do better uh, attending the house committee. You can't do it Thank first. You. Thank you. <laughs> and next question. Andrew, this kind of piggybacks a couple of the other questions. How do you propose to bring the members together and work with fellow board members when you have a reputation of being disruptive, promote dissension and fake news, not only on the websites that we have mentioned, but also in the, but also in the um, dining room where you have kind of mocked by not wearing a collared shirt and then taking a napkin and wrapping it around your neck so that yeah. Following the rules is following the rules, Andrew. And I want to know how you're going to be as a board member and how you're going to follow the rules set forth by our bylaws and rules and regs. You know what? I will follow the rules set forth by our bylaws and regs. After the fact. <laughs> Andrew, um, my question goes along with hers. I was here one night when you came in with a t shirt. Two different employees went minutes. through the policy with you and asked you to leave, and you did not. Oh leave. no no no! I, oh yes. No, I did leave. And then I did leave. No, you. After a third, a board member came up to you and told you to leave. Then how long? You left. How, may I ask how long? Can I ask a question? I'm still. Asking, no, you can't. Oh, wait a minute. I'm still talking. These employees are doing a job that we asked them to do. You were mocking them. No, is this how you're going to behave as a board member? I, first of all, I was not mocking anyone. The t-shirt the, the, the issue came up very recently, by the way. I thought we were supposed to be asking questions. Yes. Yes. Not, that wasn't a question. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Yeah, Next question. It's eight, 15 minutes is up. Thank you. Anyway, thank you all for listening. I'm pretty transparent. I have no hidden agendas. I want the, I want the best for the entire membership of this club. Let's videotape the board of directors meetings if I'm in or not. Please, let's do that. Thank you. <laughs>